Well, here we go again, day two in Snowdonia, and we're on our way up Trafan. We're going to tackle it from at South Ridge, back down and then over onto the Glidders. Right, a little update. We've been going an hour now and we're just above the body of water that looks like a round the wrong way Australia on the map, Clin Buckloyd. Okie dokies, that's us taking some shelter behind the dry stone wall here. And we've got about 200 metres now to get up Trafan. And it is pretty grim. Great. We just met three other walkers there. They've, they came up the north ridge of Trafan and down the south and they said it was really slippy coming down so that hasn't filled me with joy. I'm actually a little bit nervous to be honest. Conditions seem to be getting worse as well. Right, so this wall just ends abruptly at a big wall of rock and it looks quite intimidating in the swirling mist. So the route you want to take is further around here, just out of sight, to obviously avoid all this. Rightio, we've uh, contoured around those crags back from the wall there, and we've now found the path of sorts, which seems to avoid those big crags there. And we'll follow this up now. Lovely jubbly. Right, that's the south top just behind us. I think that's about 880 metres. So that's less than 100 to go. And I think it'll get a little bit more difficult. But that first section was fine. So again, there's a dry stone dike. Ends abruptly. Path is over there. Hopefully you can see that cairn just by Anne. Yeah, there's a big massive slab here for what we've done. So we come through it and there's this, just this, this, easy for me to say, this little terrace path. And you come round this corner and I'm sure I just saw Adam and Eve. Well, at least I hope I did. <laughs> that route there led us up the garden path. If I had to come back down a little bit, it's really not obvious. Right, the one last little crux before the summit, which is just here. Just got to get over this. Well, you can call me a loose, but I'm not claiming them today. The rock is really polished and it's wet and it's just so slippy, so I'm giving it a miss. Time to get some lunch. Righty oh, we are back at the wall where we started earlier for the ascent up Trafan. I put the camera away near the top, it was just route finding was a nightmare. We were scrambling about and I just thought, safety first, go off this mountain. So now we are headed up Glider Vac, I think it is, is the first one. We're not doing Bristly Ridge for obvious reasons, so we are taking the path that hangs around the east side. And it's a little bit scree and steep, but it should, shouldn't be half as bad as what we've just done. So yes, back into the cloud. 
no sign of clearing up yet either. So yeah, not the best day ever. And it took us the best part of five hours to get Trevan done. Five hours. There is the first view of the day. Trevan up here somewhere. Right, that's us just topped out really quick, took less than an hour given the time it took us to get off Trevan. <laughs> and uh, yes, just obviously back in the cloud as well. Righty folks, having just gingerly gone along the cantilever stone, I find myself just below the summit there and it really is quite impressive. There's just boulders the size of cars and vans all just piled up on top of each other. It's a severely well guarded summit, that is for sure, and there's no easy way up. I'm happy to say I have done the summit before and I'm in no rush to do it again, to be honest. It's just the rock is greasy and wet and it was an effort to get to here and I've been right round the summit. It's, uh, this is truly unique to the United Kingdom, trust me. I've uh, been up a lot of mountains in Britain and this definitely is something else. Right, this is a bit worrying. I walked round the sort of base of the, the summit platform and veered on another way and I've came right round and we've lost each other we can hear each other's whistle but uh, I don't want to move if she's coming towards me <laughs> it's turning a bit of a nightmare to be honest right we found each other, I can see her now, I can just see a faint outline in the mist it's probably a silly mistake to split up at the summit there, eh, given the terrain. So it was just as well there was a phone signal up here. Although we could hear each other in the whistle, but Anne was getting further away. Where are you now? Right in front of you. <whistles> You're coming towards me now. Why not go down there? You'll need to shuffle your way down somehow, aye. <laughs> Dearie me. The past followed over here. Definitely save these for a good day where you can see a, a proper route up to the summit. Right, this is very much a bit like a, a moonscape. Moonraker. It is quite bizarre this, isn't it? Well, I've had tears for fear stuck in my head all day. It was the last song on the radio. Sowing the seeds of love. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Sorry, I'm just trying to lift spirits. We've been at uh, the back of five o'clock now. It's been a long day, another one. Just the conditions has just made it really difficult. And this is the first time the sun has came out all day. So we might get a view. So 
Yeah, typically it's looking a lot better now. This is where we went up yesterday. And Travan has finally shown up as well. We've just got this awful descent and then the slog right up Rygarn or Egarn or whatever it's pronounced. Well, that's us just heading up our last ascent of the day, uh, Egon. We don't have time to get the outlier. It's uh, nearly half six already. It took us five hours to do Travan, so it's just really knocked our timings out just while that route finding. So, we're going to drop down back to the car and I think Anne is going to go for the outlier. Can't remember the name of it, I think it's something like... I'm not even going to guess. There you go, that is rather nice. We are parked way down there. Jeez. Right, let's get up to the summit. Not long now, 50 metres or so. Days. Yes. Finally, folks. Twenty to seven. Oh, yep. Bit swearing on the video. Apologies. <laughs> Jeez, what a day! At least we've been treated to a view for the last summit of the day. Super boss. The outlier is out there. It's just too far. Whoa, jeez. Right, this is our descent route. We've got Anne just ahead of me there. This is going to slowly make its way down that shoulder there, and then down there, and then eventually back to the car. We'll probably just have enough daylight to finish these. Anyways, given how long a descent it is, I am going to wrap this video up now. If you've watched this far, thank you very much as always, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers!